The variety is Fino Sedoa. Sodea. Sodea, okay. <laughs> Fina Sodea. Sodea. They're very hard to. Welcome back to Baldo's Use of the Farm. I'm Patrick Ahern, Dan and Yuma. It's still pretty cool. Short days, cool nights, meaning the cauliflower, broccoli rub, aspiration. Still a little bit short, prices are a little bit high, but Baldo's big enough to, to smooth out the ride for you and we've got you covered. But there's other stuff growing in the rest of the country and around the world. Beautiful citrus from California and these wonderful winter green chicories. This is a wonderful time of year, of course, for clementines. They're pretty much available all year now from some part of the world. But if you want a truly good clementine, or a clementino as these are called, this is the one to get. Seedless, grown in the foothills of the Sierra Nevada by Ken Olson, organic farm. These guys were originally discovered, this particular variety, in Morocco, went to Spain, made its way over to California in the 70s. Very hard to grow commercially, takes dedication, patience. This crop, like I said, it's two or three weeks. It's gonna be done before Christmas. Get it while you can. These things are beautiful. Next up, look at this beautiful chicory mix. Where's it from? Petaluma, California, County Line Harvest, another wonderful organic grower. We have Radicchio, Castelfranco, Treviso, Escrol. Wilt it down with some Portobello, have a nice warm salad. Leave it cold with a nice blood orange vinaigrette, or better still, a nice warm bacon dressing. The varieties change throughout the season, but there's always a nice variety, and the bitterness goes from quite bitter to not so bitter, and you can make a nice blend however you like it. One of my favorite pieces of citrus this time of year, the Cara Cara. So called after the place it was discovered, a hacienda de Cara Cara in Venezuela back in 1976. It took a little while to make its way to America. Thought to be a cross between a Brazilian naval and a Washington naval. But some people, the, the jury is still out on that. Some people still think it was just a natural mutation. But all Cara Caras originate from there. Look how beautiful they are inside. Seedless, sweet, certainly less acid than a regular naval. Ideal for a salad dressing. Slice it up and use the segments in a salad. Great to garnish any fish or white meat dish. Throw in a few nuts to make it extra special. Really, really adds a little zing to your game. Looking forward this week to the transition between the Australian blood oranges and now we're all gonna be in California, domestic crop. Don't we love that? Speaking of domestic crop, we love Sata. We love Paula and her husband Eberhard down in Florida. They started to ship Frise, Lacinado Kale. It's a much better trip from Florida than it is from California. Quality's looking good. Sherville next week, cilantro the week after that. Everything's looking wonderful on the East Coast. Pretty good on the West Coast too. And a Baldor Christmas is coming and everybody's happy. We hope to see you again next week on News from the Farm. They're, they're low end.